So there are several ways that you can use Applicant Lab with some other admissions consultant and still save thousands of dollars. Just in case you, through the course of this process, have fallen in love with some other admissions consultant, but for whatever reason you cannot afford their full, highest level packages, don't worry. My feelings won't be hurt if you use the lab plus someone else. You can use a hybrid approach of the lab with someone else's service, and you are still going to save a ton of money. And in case you're not sure if this really works, uh, I randomly stumbled upon these two posts on Reddit from Applicant Lab users. I don't know who they are in real life, but I found these posts, so I thought I'd share them with you. Um, here's someone's story, Avalon's story. Uh, applied to seven schools last year with a pretty big and expensive consultant and got dinged everywhere except for one wait list at a T2025 school. Applied again this year without a consultant. I just used Applicant Lab and had someone else hygiene check my essays. I paid for an hour of her time and I got into Tuck and Darden. So that's a pretty big, impressive jump to go from using an expensive consultant the previous year on one of what I can only presume is one of those big packages, not get in anywhere, only get on a wait list at a top 20, 25 school. And then the following year, use Applicant Lab, get someone else to sanity check the essays and got into, to, into Tuck and Darden, which are both top 10, top 15 schools. So a pretty dramatic improvement. Um, still, a, this one's a little less dramatic, but it's still quite an endorsement. Um, Stinkmeaner92 <laughs> said, I did Applicant Lab and got a la carte services from another company to sanity check my essays. Ended up being a good middle ground and still pretty cheap. So this is music to my ears because my mission in creating Applicant Lab is to democratize access to world-class admissions advice. And however you want to do it is great. Now, super quick, before I jump into how you can use this with another consultant, I just wanted to point out, in case you're curious, that I and my colleagues actually also offer sanity checks, um, editing, and mock interviews. So if you're curious about checking those out on your main lab dashboard, there's a little green button in the lower right-hand corner that says get extra help now. And from there, you can see what we offer. But here's how you can work with another consultant. The two main ways you can work with another consultant are number one, you can purchase hourly. Their services hourly, like say, you, so let's say you you know, purchase a bundle of three hours of their time, or you can purchase a la carte services. So some consultants will have things like a la carte resume review or a la carte essay review or a la carte, you know, the last moment sanity, check your, your application. Like they, they call it different things, but basically these are like smaller little mini packages that you can buy from them, or you can just straight up buy some of their time if you want. So here's how you do it. You're going to go through all of the lab yourself first, or at least most of it. Then you hire someone else to do these sort of mini feedback or reviews or editing. You will probably, if you've gone through the lab and if you've really like paid attention to the exercises and done them all and read my advice on how to self edit your essays and how to trim them down and all that other good stuff, then you're probably only going to need one to maybe two hours per school that you're applying to at the maximum because your materials are going to be so strong that you're not going to need to pay someone else thousands of dollars. You might only need an hour of their time, which is normally around 320, 350, um, at least for people of my caliber. That's how much it is. Um, is it, and this is, this is also the fact that the applicant lab materials are so strong. This is why, for example, I, you may know I have, a, I have an editing partnership with Admission Auto, and through that editing partnership, they offer applicant lab clients a steep discount on editing services. And you might be asking yourself, well, what's up with that? The reason is that I've been working with Admission Auto now for a couple of years with their editors for a couple of years. And they have found that when people go through the exercises in the lab first, I'm talking reading the advice in the mapping section, really thinking carefully about their, their pre-writing, et cetera, et cetera. They have found that an applicant lab user's materials are a lot less work. And since it's less work, that means they spend less time. And since they spend less time, they charge us less money. And that's how that works. So you will find the same thing, even if you get your editing or your sanity checks from someone else. The other way to use the lab with another consultant is, you know, consultants also offer these things called comprehensive packages. And these are the things that start, they tend to start at around the $4,500 to $5,000 price range for one school and could quickly escalate up to around $10,000 for say five or six schools. 
So here's how you can use the lab with a comprehensive, if you are using someone else for a comprehensive package. In this case, I would urge you to go through the lab simultaneously while working with the other consultant. What you could do in that case is you could use the consultant for just one school for one comprehensive package at around $5,000 and then use the lab's advice for the other schools. So if you're applying to five schools, you know, go through the lab for all five schools and just use the consultant for that one school. And then that way you're paying, let's say, $5,300 to apply to five schools as opposed to $10,000 to apply to five schools. The other way you can use the lab with another consultant if you have chosen to pay for them is, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you sort of go on message boards and if you read what people say, even if we think back to that first Reddit post that I, I had pasted uh, a little earlier where the person had said, look, I paid all this money for a consultant and I was really disappointed with my experience. Well, the reason for that is that the bigger consulting firms in particular, they start to get really overwhelmed as the season moves on and they start to bring on more and more people who may or may not be well trained, right? They all say that they train them, but uh, your results may vary, right? When, when the rubber hits the road and it's a month before the deadlines and everything is hitting the fan, they might, some firms might hire consultants who might not be super experienced or who might not really know a lot about this process and how to give this advice. So if you're using another consultant for a, a larger school package, why not use the lab to sanity check the advice you're getting from them, right? If, if you think that you're like, oh, I don't know if, I'm, if, I, if I got, you know, the best person. Look, if you're spending $5,000, $8,000, $10,000, or even $20,000, which I've heard some firms charge, if you're paying that much money, what's another couple of hundred dollars to use the lab and just spot check their advice? If anything they tell you feels a little funny or you're not really sure if you agree with it, What's another two, you know, couple of hundred bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks to use the lab, check the advice in the lab against what they're doing. I see it as a protection on your investment. If you're investing that much money with someone else, that's great. You know, why not make sure that they're giving you the best advice possible? So these are the ways that you can use the lab with some other consultant. Again, my feelings will not be hurt should you choose to look elsewhere as long as my mission is being, um, you know, as long as the mission of providing great advice for a fraction of the price is still being honored, then I am fine with it. So thank you so much. And if you've got any questions at all, please email support at applicantlab.com. Thanks.